What's up, my LV besties? I'm back with another video. I can't wait to share my little story about what happened to me this morning with you guys. So embarrassing, but let me tell you. So last Tuesday, my essay from Dallas, the Galleria, texted me and he was like, do you want to have a Zoom meeting over the items I have to show you? And I was like, yeah, like cool. You know, and he's like, I have like over 67 items and he's like, I'd love to show them to you. And I was like, oh yeah, that sounds great. So we set up an appointment and we, um, te you know, text, whatever, back and forth about it for a little bit and moved on with my day, moved on with my week, never thought about that Zoom meeting again, you guys. And then this morning I'm, I wake up and, you know, I'm just laying in bed chilling watching my YouTube videos because I didn't have anything to do today, right? That I thought. And um, my husband and my two sons were outside target shooting and my daughter still had her best friend over. So they were in the living room. My dogs were sleeping on the bed and I'm literally just watching my YouTube. Had not moved. <laughs> then I get a text from my essay and he's like, are you ready for your Zoom meeting? And I was like, holy because no, I was not. I was still in my pajamas. And I didn't want to keep this guy waiting. Like, I didn't know how many Zoom meetings he had after me. Or if he had appointments with his other clients. Or what he had going on. He might have had a hundred meetings. I had no idea. So, I jump up. I run and I, or I text him. I was like, give me ten, please. And so, I ran and I put on a... I did my makeup, I did my hair, I did, threw on a hoodie and called it good. And this is how I looked right here. And so, anyways, so also, I didn't even know that you, I mean, I have, I've never done a Zoom meeting before, okay? So, like, I legit did not know that you had to, like, download an app, okay? Like, I'm not a techie person, you guys. And, and I've already told y'all, I'm forgetful and I'm scatterbrained. So, I, I felt so bad so now I'm trying to download this app and trying to figure out how to even do a zoom meeting like I should have done that like Tuesday like try to figure that out but I didn't so I did get it figured out and then I was like well I want to do it on my computer so that way like I could set up my phone and film it and maybe make a video out of it and sorry about my my her alarms are going off um anyways um so I wanted to set up my phone and do a vi try to do like a video or film it so I could do a video on it and show you guys like a little bit of the zoom meeting I knew that I couldn't show him on there and and back by the way I say him because I did have a lady essay in, at the Galleria but she got a different type of job within that department and so she passed me on to him and he's been so awesome like he's, he's really cool so I just bought a um capucine from him but anyways so yeah so so I do, he did tell me I was his very first Zoom meeting, <laughs> my, his very first, and I, I like screwed it up. He didn't, he didn't know though, he didn't know I screwed it up, but I did, I, or I was screwing it up on my, on my end, because he like not had that meeting, because I didn't know if I was going to get the phone thing to work. So anyways, um, the phone showed a glare, so forget that. I, so I turned on my iPad, faced it, and the iPad worked just fine, so I did get a little bit of a video of it, or I did film some of it, and um. Anyway, so <laughs> I didn't tell him anything, so I just got on there and acted like everything was cool, but like I was going to die, you guys, like if I would have like not like been able to figure out how to do that or not got ready in time and like, like I'm just that way, like I don't like to like let anybody down, like I just don't, like if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it, but scatterbrain me forgets things. And anybody that knows me reminds me of things. My mom has to remind me a hundred times, like, of whatever, like, I need it, like, she has for me to do or something like that. But this says that guy doesn't know that. So, anyways, I bought a bag from him, though. I bought a, um, I bought the Bichette Matisse, um, the black one with the, the beige, um, giant monogram on it. I bought that. And he's so sweet, like... Like, he, he showed me um, se several different bags that I like that are that I'm interested in. And one of them is the Speedy 20, the black en pont leather. And another one is the Capucine. I've never seen this one before. It was it, it had like a chevron, like the chevron um, print on it. 
and it was all sparkly. I don't know. I never. I looked at. It, I tried to look it up online, and I couldn't find it. So I don't know if it's something that they just have had and it's left over, like and they've taken it down off the website or what. But anyways, he had that one, and then he wanted to show me the the um, Cavacine MM in Magnolia, but. I already told him I didn't really want that bag, but he wanted to show it to me anyway, so I'm like, that's fine. You can put it on, on hold or whatever. But yeah, how cool of that is him? Like, because I do know that that they're not supposed to hold bags for over 24 hours, like, but he did, like, out of the kindness, like, of his heart, like, he, like, is holding those until Monday. And the reason I say Monday is because I, I've already said this probably a hundred times, but I do live three hours away, and I can't go up there tomorrow, and our banks are closed anyways on Saturdays, and I can't just, like, like swipe my card and it worked. I, like, I need to get, like, a, a an increase on my on my daily, but, um, daily increase or whatever, and the banks are closed on Sundays, so, like, yeah, so there's no way I can do that. So, anyways, he was like, yeah, you can come Monday, and I was like, wow, okay, cool. So, anyways, back to what we're doing the actual video over and that is um my, the casings okay so i'm gonna need your help on deciding whether i should keep both the bags or return one and if if i need to return one which one you guys think i should return because this is very hard decision i don't like returning bags first of all and second of all i really don't want to return one that i love so much but do i really need two kusin bags and I hope I'm even pronouncing that right because y'all know I can't speak French. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even hardly attempt the French words. But I do know it's, in French, it's, it means cushion. Okay, I do know that. And it looks like it says cousin, cousin, cousin. It's what it looks like it's, how it should be pronounced. But God knows how it's really pronounced. Can you imagine me going over to France and talking? They would know what in the world to do with me, y'all. They'd send me right back home. I wouldn't get anywhere. Anyways, so here's my story on this. Um, my essay had sent me a picture of this purse, and I thought it was beautiful. So, yeah, anyways, I just want to say one more thing. You know how before LV launched these bags, um, there was, like, all these people talking about how the influencers were getting these bags for free from out from Louis Vuitton and they were posting all the pictures on Instagram so everybody was running out and buying these bags due to the fact that they were saying how great they were and blah 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 and like they thought that was just crazy because you know of them all posting the pictures and everybody wanting the bag because of them posting the pictures well I think that's just absolutely crazy I mean if you really think about it how do people really market these days their products they, social media. Everybody goes to social media for everything. I look on social media for clothes, like clothes ideas. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a um, website myself where I buy and sell Louis Vuitton bags or, well, any luxury brand, brand that bags, as a matter of fact. But where do you think I do that at? Instagram, social media, uh, or um, Facebook. Because that's where everybody's at. Like, yeah, back in our day, there, I mean, we were all up in the magazines, you know, like everything, all the new fashion was shown in the fashion magazines and, you know, they were all p pictured on billboards and all that kind of stuff, which are probably are so pictured on billboards. But I'm saying like, we went to magazines. Today, people go to social media. So who really cares if Louis Vuitton sent their influencers these bags and called it the it bag or was making it look like it was the new it bag? Like, who really cares? Like, who would not take a bag for free and... And post pictures like, give me a bag for free. I'll post 90,000 pictures on Instagram. I don't care. Just give me a bag for free. So, like, you know, more power to them. You know, like, get your products out there any way you can. And if it's so, by social media, let it be. Because that's what everybody looks at these days. So, anyways, just to get that out of the way. Because I want to say, I did not buy this bag or the other one by the picture, by looking at all the people on Instagram. I didn't do that. Okay, matter of fact, my SA from Miami, she sent me a picture of this bag when, whenever they launched them and, and they received it in their store. And it was, and it was this exact one, like it was pink. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm, I think I'm going to pass due to the price on it. Because first of all, like 
some bags I will buy without seeing, like the Speedy 20. Like, I knew I was going to like that bag. I, I mean, I like I like Speedies in general. And I, I was going to take a chance no matter what. Even though I did turn it down at first because I thought, I, I know y'all seen in my other video where I thought it was an upgrade of the Speedy, the speedy Nano. Okay. Any, anywho, um, when I learned that it wasn't, yeah, I wanted that bag. And like the loot bag, I had not seen it either. I bought it. This bag over here, you can see like the little side of it, that bucket bag. I had not seen it either, but I bought it. But, but again, this bag is a little bit different because it's, I knew it was like a cushion bag. So I didn't know how it was going to, how durable it was going to be or how it was like, you know, like how it was going to really like look if it was going to be like all bulgy and big. So I really didn't want to take a chance on this bag. Okay. So I turned it down and one day, not long after that, I was at North Park in Dallas shopping and I went into the um, Louis Vuitton store and just, just to the browse around and look and see what they had. And I saw these bags in the pochette size, the pochette cushions, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I looked at them. Now, I will say they were not any that I wanted because they were in like these vibrant colors, like the, like they had a pink one, a dark, dark pink one with like the purple, the embossing was like in dark purple, and then they had like a dark blue one, and the embossing of it was in like yellow, I believe. So anyways, I still wanted to see, you know, check it out and see how durable it was and, and, um, and it, and it was like, I mean, it was very, it, they were very sturdy little bags and very durable and you could tell like this was very good, well-made bag, like Louis Vuitton has up their game with this bag, you guys. So, however, with those bags and that size, I would not buy them and the reason why was because it, it was so small, like I put my phone down in it and and it had the t compartments as well but I put my phone down in it and my um, card holder and my keys and my keys was kind of even like bulging making the purse bulge a little bit and I knew that I was not going to be able to carry much in that in that bag so I knew right away I didn't want that particular bag but you know what else happened like I did on the speedy 20 I text my essay back I was like um do you still have that pink, the pink cushion purse in the PM size? And she was like, I don't have that one, but I do have another one. And I was like, I definitely want it. I definitely want it because I have done went and checked out the one smaller and seen that I really do like that bag. And she was like, okay, you know, so we did the whole invoice thing. And anyways, so I was just excited, like, because like, and, and honestly, I really didn't know, like, because I have not, I had not seen it in the PM size, so I didn't know, I mean, I looked at the measurements, and, and, I, and you can kind of, you know, I'm basing it off of what size my other bags are, like, I kind of knew what I was getting, but yet, I still didn't really know, like, what size was coming, but I did know it was bigger than that one, at least, so when I opened it up, you guys, like, I was in, like, I was ecstatic, because this bag is absolutely gorgeous, and I don't know if you can see it or not. And I'm looking on the other side because the other side looks exactly like the the other side. <laughs> but so I'm looking at it. And I, and if you can see, like, the embossing, the monogram embossing is all, like, sparkly and shiny, like, inside here. Like, it just shines. It's got some type of, it, I don't, it's not glitter because it doesn't rub off. But it looks like it's got, it looks like, like a matte glitter that they somehow got it to stay, if that makes any kind of sense. Like, it just, like, shines, like, like, I don't know. Like, if you've seen these bags, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I mean, I know, that was, like, the first thing I noticed was how it just really, like, sparkled and shined through all the embossing. And then, on top of that, the color. Like, the color was even prettier in person than it was on the video, or, I'm sorry, not on, not on the video, on the um, picture she sent me. So, I was very happy when I opened this bag, you guys. So, and then I noticed I love the size right away. So, anyway, so let's, let's look at the bag inside of it. I've talked long enough, I think. I just had to tell you guys my story. Like, I can I could not tell you all that. So, anyways, if I'm smacking my lips, I'm sorry. That is so 
such a habit. Y'all, okay. I think I've talked before on the straps. What do y'all think? Because I'm just not digging these straps. And I'm really not with this type of bag. Like, this is a beautiful calfskin leather bag. And they want to put this strap with it? Like, why? Why? Like, like myself, I would have put a nice leather adjustable strap with this. Made in the exact same color. Like, I think that would have been so pretty. But, I guess we can't always have everything we want. And like I said before, we can't call up LV and be like, look, this is what you need to make. And also, we all have different opinions. So, there may be a lot of people that absolutely adore this strap. And I hope there is because for the ones that don't, like, it, I, I hope there is. Because I just don't. I, I can't help it. I do like that it says Louis, Louis Vuitton down in, I don't know if you can tell. On the screen but it says Louis Vuitton down the sides of it or down the um, whole strap I'm sorry um yeah and it's got the calfskin leather on it also and the pretty hard uh, shiny hardware and it is very shiny but again the I'm just having a hard time liking these straps the one on the speedy 20 I liked it I just didn't really like it with that bag because like it did at least have like some color like like yeah, it had more than one color to it, and it had, like, some of the monogram stuff on it, symbols on it. So, like, it was a little bit prettier, and then I also have one with a one of my twist bags, and it has a real pretty print on it. But overall, in general, they just seem to me like they won't last long. Like, maybe they're going to tear up, like, or, or peel or something, and I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. I just, again, I just wouldn't put this with this type of bag this is it takes away the beauty of it anyways but the chain the chain's a whole nother story you guys because this chain is absolutely i mean stunning this is one heavy duty baby and when i say that I mean it to the fullest. And and what's cool about it is it doesn't weigh your bag down. Like, this is heavy duty and heavy, but it doesn't at all make your bag any heavier. And if you can see on here, each and every link has the LV symbols and LV engraved on them. Like, every single link. And look how it's just shiny. And I like the shape of the links. I like the chunky look to it. Like, this is... This is bad, y'all. Like, this is bad. A. Hey, I love it. So, anyways, let's put these straps on and let me let me try the bag on for you guys. I'm going to zip it up first. And let, oh, did I show y'all? I didn't. The, comp the three main compartments in it. They're all good. They're great. Three big, large compartments. And I really like that this one in the middle is a zipper. And I love the color. This wine color. It's so pretty. And I love that up against it the pink up against the wine color and it's made in France so I like that part too but yeah and another thing I, because I always like if I buy a bag I haven't seen I will go to the website and look it up or uh, YouTube them and like see if like someone's had it so I can see what it looks like you know and I stalk it <laughs> I stalk my bags whenever I order them. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm not. But anyways, so whenever I saw this bag, it looked like it was red. And I thought, why in the world would they put red in and the red inside to the pink outside? But then again, I also thought that kind of the same about the, the pochette cousins. Like, why did they mix those colors together? And again, this is just all my opinions. Like, if you love them, like, I'm proud for you, you know. Like, I, I'm proud for... I, I love everybody's opinions on things and or I like I love hearing everybody's opinions on things and I love that we all have different opinions you know but um but yeah I just thought why would they put red on the inside of a a pink bag but they do have a a neo noe that's that's the epi one and it's pink with red straps and it's like Valentine's Day cute any other day of the year uh uh, uh no. And, and I'm sorry, like, I hope I'm not, like, sounding like I'm knocking LV over here. But, we, you know, there's always going to be likes and dislikes to everything. So, anyways, let's try this bag on, you guys. I want y'all to see it because it's so stunning. 
So first I'm going to put on this chain. Oh, and another thing I like about it is look at these earrings. Like, look how pretty they are. And I love the shape of them. Like, that is so cool. I just, I don't know. That is different. This is a little bit odd. Try, trying to deal with this thing. I don't, I don't know what they was thinking when they did that. But maybe that was the only way they could make it. It's just a little bit... I don't know. If you have the bag, you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, it's different for sure because you can, it'll either stick out like, see, like it sticks out like this or sticks up like this, or you can stick it through and it sticks straight out. I don't know. Like, that's just how it is. We're just going to leave it like that. But I'm, sh I'm going to show you guys with just the shoulder strap on. So here it is with the shoulder, I mean, with the chain. As a shoulder strap or as a shoulder bag. Yep. Yep. So pretty. I think that's just like top notch, cute. And like this is real this this chain really sets this bag off. Really love it. I mean it kind of blends in with my hoodie, right? But you get it. Like you can see what it looks like if I had like a different shirt on. So okay. Now we're gonna add the and by the way, the strap online looked a little bit better. It was at least like the Louis Vuitton stood out online, like on the picture online. It like you could you could see the Louis Vuitton like really well. Well, you really can't on these, y'all. I know I'm gonna get some hate over talking about these <laughs> these canvas straps. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. I just showed her shoulder bag and I'm only 5'4 so it's kind of hard to see and I have not adjusted this strap at all so it's kind of hard to see like the full view but I'll put it on as a crossbody also it's really usually most of my bags I throw on as crossbody anyways adjusted I would wear it crossbody non adjusted like this I would not but if I was going to wear the bag with this strap I would definitely adjust it and probably wear it as a crossbody even like this, like the, like this is cute. Again, with it adjusted right, but it's not adjusted. So, and I'm not going to take the time to do that. Like, I've already taught enough to take the time to adjust the strap. <laughs> so, I've always got some stories, you guys. I told y'all, like, if y'all join my channel and you want to talk, like, I am down for it because I am... I've got a lot to talk about, and, I, you know, I have friends, <laughs> I do have friends, I promise, but, I don't know, like, I'm sure they get sick of talking about, like, bags and stuff, you know, and so, I mean, I would, if, if, because most of my friends really aren't into the bags as much as I am, and, yeah, so, and then my husband, well, not my husband likes to talk about cars. That's what he likes to talk about. He could give a, he could not care less about a post. I mean, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad like that purses are not like the one of the things he wants to speak about. Unless it's he wants to go buy me one and then like, then I'm like glad he wants to talk about it, you know. But, but no, he does the best he can like to listen to my, oh, I've got to have this, I've got to have that and why, you know. So he does get on that. But anyways. So here's the pink Kusin with the monogram embossing. So shiny and beautiful. Uh, and if you have this bag, like I said, you probably know what I'm talking about on that. And if you don't, you guys, you've got to check it out because it is stunning. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. This little baby is going to go right over there. Now we're going to see this one. And this one, I actually went to Houston when we went to buy my daughter's car. And I wanted to run into the Louis Vuitton store in Woodlands because I absolutely love my essay from there. She is absolutely amazing. And, like, like the first time I met her, she just was, like, the sweetest lady ever. And she just started pulling bags out everywhere and was showing me, like, all different kinds. And, and you know, like, I don't know if this happened to y'all, but I've been in some stores before and 
some of the essays weren't even hard to give you a time of the day. Like they're just like standing there and you're standing there and, and they're like, um, is there anything you want to see? And I'm like, um, yeah, like, like, can I look around? Like, what do you want to do? What do you, or what do you want me to do? So like, I'll just look around and I'll just kind of like just stand there, but, n but not her. Like she was not that way at all. She was like on it. Like she was like, like just telling me all different, like a lot of them won't pull out like Tampa's bags. If, you, if you've noticed that too, like if you go around like on their displays, most of all of them are leather bags, which whatever. I mean, I get that too. Like I get, they're trying to push that, but like, I still want to see some canvas bags and I will ask like, do you have any canvas bags available? And most of them will be like, um, not many. And then I'll look over and see an essay pulling like out like three different canvas bags for like, a client and I'm like um hello like I just asked to see some canvas bags and you said y'all didn't have many and didn't even give me a chance to look at them and girl over here is getting to look at about 10 of them what's up with that well not her she showed me canvas bags so guess what I left with the canvas bag that day and I was so excited I was so excited so obviously I got her number and yeah I've been talking to her ever since and I bought from her the ribbon is sliding off. I'm going to slide that right back on. Anyway, so she made this all nice and pretty. And you guys, I know I said in one of my other videos about how my essay in Miami. Sorry if I'm smacking my lips. It's a habit. Um, my essay in Miami, she um, doesn't always put ribbon on, my, on the boxes. But I got to thinking about that later. And... I thought maybe she doesn't even, she's not the one that even like boxes them up. Like what if it's somebody else boxing them up? Like they may have a boxer. I don't know. Like I shouldn't have said that, you know, because like, I mean, when you're in the store in the boutiques and they leave, I mean, and you are purchasing a bag once you pay, I see them leave and go box it up and put the ribbon on it and bring it back to you. But really like when you're ordering, who knows? Like they, they're so busy. Like, they may have somebody that just sits in there and boxes up online orders all day long, as far as I know. So, anyways, I'd said that about her, and then I'd said, and then I unboxed um, one that I'd gotten from from this lady in Houston. And uh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned or mentioned it or not, but it's from the the LV store from the Woodlands that I go to. But anyways, um. So when that bag came in, it didn't have a ribbon also. And I was like, oh, well, you know, she didn't either. But, and again, I don't, I don't care. Like, I really do not care that they have the ribbons on them. Like, it does not phase me one single bit. Like, I'm past that, you know. Like, I've already had the experience of it. And, of course, it's cute. But, like I said, like, I'm not going to, like, some people are like, oh, no. Like, they didn't put a ribbon around my box. Like, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't care about that. But, anyways, I just want to say she did, like, make this all pretty and nice and, and I've moved it around so much, but it's all it's kind of loose. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox this for you guys for the first time. I mean, I've seen this in the store, so but I have not opened it up because I was waiting to do this on video. <sighs> it's tied tight. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all are ever in the woodlands in Houston, Texas, go by their LV store and the Dallas, Dallas Galleria. They're both awesome. Oh, this is a box that pulls open. Okay. Hmm. Y'all are going to understand why I'm having a hard decision deciding this little business. Look at her. Look how pretty she is. And she's just a shiny. She has that same glistening, sparkle, glitter that I don't know what it is inside the embossed the monogram embossing on her also front and back y'all this bag is just absolutely like it's so classy and sophisticated look looking i mean it's just beautiful the gold hardware up against this black with it already shining like what more can you ask for in a bag like that pink one is me in a bag on a casual day, this is me in a bag on a dressed up nice, like, fancy dinner day. You know what I'm saying? Like, this bag is stunning. I mean, it is just, I don't even know. Look at this. Like, 
what do y'all think? Do y'all like these bags, the Kusins? And I know they have, the, um, now they make them in the MM size. Or is it BB? I don't know. I know there's, I know, I know they've added a different size to this. But I'm not real sure which, what it is. Other than there's the Bichette, the, the Bichette Kusin, and then this size PM. And then I've seen the larger one. I think the larger one's the MM. And the larger one is large. Like, I tried one of those on when I was in Houston looking at this one. I was like, oh, no. Even though I do have large bags, as I told y'all, my bags range from small, medium, and large. But, um, yeah, I didn't really care for this one in, in that size. So, let's open her up. And the zippers, they just glide so smooth. So, she has three main big compartments as well and I love that it's a light this is a light pale pink into um, microfiber lining so I love that they did that instead of putting just black in here not that I don't like the black lining but I like looking into a black bag and seeing the light pink like what like I love that it's so pretty and it's almost like it's not it's not this color pink it's a little bit more I don't know because it also kind of has a purple tint to it but anyway it's still pretty it's beautiful all right so we're gonna pull out the straps black strap just kidding I'm just joking you guys oh she put my chain in a little cute bag and I love this draw thing, the, the drawstring bags, no matter if they're small or large, like love them. I even keep the ones on from my speedies that the locks and keys come in, which I don't really ever keep put the locks and keys on my speedies, so I keep them in the little drawstring bags. I need to show you guys my collection. Like, I need to do that. I need to make a video over my speedy collections and my. I have Speedy, I have about five Speedy, 25s by the way, and then 120, and then I have an Everfull collection, which is all the canvas prints, and then two more. I have a Wild at Heart, Speedy, uh, Neverfull, and uh, the black, is it on plot? I think it's on plot. <laughs> y'all okay moving on <laughs> anyway so so yeah okay so let's let me show you guys what it looks like which is the, the shoulder strap this strap really is so pretty with this bag so here it is here's this here it is as a shoulder strap with or just with one the chain my goodness this is not a strap this is a chain we do not need to call her what she's not she is a chain, and she is a beautiful chain. So, y'all don't listen to me, because she is not to be called a strap. She is more than that. <laughs> oh, my. I always have fun with these videos, you guys. All right, so we're going to put this one on. I will say, I do like that they're adjustable. And I do think this black one's a little bit prettier. But anyway, here we go. Okay. There it is as a shoulder bag. Pretty. It's, this one's not adjusted either, but we're just going to throw it on us. Oh my, we are not going to leave it on us crossbody because that's not adjusted at all. <laughs> so here it is as the shoulder bag with the chain and I do think like if I carry both of these bags like it will be with the chain and and these are not like chains that want to roll off your shoulders you know because a lot of them do this I mean like it's not trying to roll off my shoulder at all it's great but guess what I did also I brought over my leather strap from my um from my Maida bag. Yep, I brought 
that out so that I could put it on with this bag considering I have a black one. If I would have had a pink leather strap, I would have brought it out too, but they, I don't. So, I know it's not the same type of leather, um, but then again, what we mix in here, it's not the same either. So, this is, this is um, lambskin, lambskin leather, and this is calf skin. Okay, so, I mean, up against it, really, like, it's not bad at all. I don't think, anyways. I think it's pretty cool. So, I'm just going to see what it looks like. I imagined it in my head, if you're wondering. <laughs> if you're wondering, I did imagine this, but I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to do this first with you guys, so I wanted to unbox it. All right, so here it is with the leather strap from my Maida bag. I wish, you, I wish I was a little bit taller so you could see. All right, I think I can do it with crossbody with this. Yeah, yeah, we can. Oh, see, so that's really cute. I like that on, I like the strap with this. And and definitely with like the chain. I didn't, I took that off just because it's like so loud and bangy. But I like, it. this would be pretty with a chain on it also with the leather strap or even just this like either way I really do can y'all can y'all see it like I like this strap with it with this bag a lot I matter of fact I think I'm probably not even going to use those canvas I believe they're canvas straps they're canvas cotton something all I know is I see them peeling oh the hate comments I'm probably going to get people are probably going to be like oh my gosh Quit talking about that so much. But I gotta talk. Anyways, so so the black Cousin PM, the pink Cousin PM, and the monogram embossed calfskin leather. What do you guys think? Casual for sure, like a casual day for sure, because. Well, I don't know. You could even dress dress this up 100%, I think, especially with the gold chain. Like, I think she'd be cute in the summertime, like, with a white dress at some nice event. I definitely do. This, I would dress it up to wear it. Neither one of these would probably be my everyday bags. Like, for one, they're caps, no, I'm sorry, they're lambskin, so I want to, like, really, like, only use them. I know they that can scrape pretty easily. So I would really want to use them like on occasions and stuff. And so yeah, I wouldn't use these either one as an everyday bag. So that's not going to make a difference on whether I choose to keep both of them or not. Because again, not everyday bags. But would you guys sit, like return one of these? Or would you just keep them both and like be like, just like, oh well. Like, oh well. Like what, what do y'all think? And if you think I should return one, which one do you think I should return? Because, like, I could, I cannot choose this on my own. I sh and I've asked my husband, like, whenever, because he, he went with me, whenever we went into the um, boutique in the Woodlands, and he was like, and I showed it to him, and then he, I'm like, you remember my pink one? And he was like, no. <laughs> so anyways, because I'm like, should I even, I was really like, kind of like, wondering if I should even get it or not because I had this one and um but I'm like I don't I can't pass this up like what do you I mean anyways I need your help I need your help pink black or both leave it in the comments below please like if you would I would appreciate that and I more than anything I would love for you guys to, to subscribe to my channel because I'm really having a lot of fun on here and I'm really really like making these videos and I would love to have more subscribers so that I can maybe reach out to some more people and we can share different opinions and I can probably be put in my place about these straps that I keep going on and on about and uh, also the speedy uh, nano because I know there's some a lot of speedy nano lovers out there I do so so I'm interested to hear your opinions on on 
my opinions on this, you know. So, yeah, so like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Also, I'm apologizing again for the smacking of the lips and my y'all every five minutes, and probably I did, I'm sure I said, um, every five minutes also. So, you guys have a great night, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Mm -hmm.